Hey everyone, Fantasy Answer here. We're back with another recipe for our dream bar. This week's cocktail is called the Pegu Club. Now, it was first published in 1927 in Harry McElhane's Barflies and Cocktails, and it was a signature cocktail of the Pegu Club in Burma, now known as Myanmar. It was established in 1882 by the British and was frequented by their senior government and well-to-do, more or less, so their businessmen and military officers. It's traveled around the world and at the time was also asked for around the world. But nowadays, most of the versions you find have something very similar in common. They all use fresh lime juice. But in Barflies and Cocktails, it actually specifically asks for roses lime. So we're gonna make ours with that today and see what happens. So we're actually gonna start with our gin here. We got two ounces of that. And the club back then, basically it was your cigar club, right? So women weren't super welcome there. I mean, this was early, early 1900s. But if you like the kind of old school style club where they serve cocktails, they actually still exist. Next up, we're doing a third of an ounce of triple sec here. Uh, but there's actually a new Pegu Club that opened in New York City, and it's called the Pegu Club. And that was established in 2005. But if that's not quite good enough for you, they just finished restoring the original Pegu Club in Myanmar to its former glory last year, so you can check that out for yourself if you're in Myanmar. Next up, we want just a teaspoonful of our Rose's Lime Cordial. and one dash each of our Angostura bitters and our orange bitters. Now for the orange bitters, it doesn't specify which brand you use. I just happen to have Angostura orange bitters here, so they kind of match. All right, so we're gonna add our ice and give her a shake. Our nice frost covered shaker here and I've stepped up my game a little bit I got us coasters so if I spill it's not gonna be all over my bar and I've mentioned in a couple of videos that we didn't have coupes so we were using martini glasses instead to keep it served up but today I have a coupe generally they're only about three to four ounces as far as the volume that they hold this one's about three ounces that's perfect for the size of this cocktail All right, now originally there was no garnish for this particular drink, so we're gonna go straight ahead and see how that tastes. Pretty dry still, actually. The bitters really come through quite strong. You get that orange from, well, the orange bitters, but I think the roses actually helps with the sweetness. Yeah, I think Henry McEllen was right with the roses. I think with the fresh lime juice, it would end up almost too dry and bitter, but the sweetness that adds is, keeps it a little bit more balanced. That is our Pegu Club. We used two ounces of our dry gin, a third of an ounce of our triple sec, one teaspoonful of Rose's Lime Cordial, one dash of Angostura bitters, and one dash of orange bitters. I hope you like this video and enjoy the drink. Subscribe, just follow along as we build our dream bar and please drink responsibly.